so so after seeing your video so i first uh, subscribe to the class sir that's the first thing which i did right. so very thankful to all the faculty sir of uh, because i could uh, their voices were echoing when uh, i was you know when i read the textbook and also when i was giving the exam so i bring in all the wishes and greetings uh, on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr natasha manan for scoring a topmost rank of aml 2 Uh, in the specialty of mch plastic surgery in the session of ini ss april session uh, 2024 congratulations to you, doctor thank you sir doctor can we know a brief background history of uh, where you started till date what all you have done uh, so i uh, i've done my ms uh, general surgery in uh, topiwala national medical college nair hospital so after that i did 6 uh, months of my sr post in uh, general surgery at sasan hospital pune and uh, so then i started working as a non academic sr in the department of burns and plastic surgery at aims nagpur wow for the past 6 months i left my job in uh, december towards the end of december sir. so you are just requiring only the tag name of mch i think to go no, no sir <laughs> because already you are there in uh, uh, in plastic only na already yes, sir. Yes, yeah sir. so great so it's a i mean is that what you wanted actually right and uh, just you want to work yes, great now uh, even in spite of it what inspired you to do plastic surgery any uh, any history and stories there on that so uh, actually uh, like plastic surgery so it deals with there are two reasons so one is plastic surgery deals with anatomy so of the entire body so and i have always been passionate passionate about anatomy since like undergraduate days so, so and the second reason second is so once i started working in uh, plastic surgery at aims nagpur so like i saw a case of a hand replant which went on for around 12 hours but i did not realize so that uh, the duration of the surgery was that long and i was still motivated like even to, to just see the patient like post op to see him use his the function of his hand i mean so that was like that is when i knew that this is what i want to do so great right so once uh, you have decided to do on I mean then you would have planned to do a neat ss or any ss to get on to it and what was your primary exam of preparation so i um, as i then i decided so that i wanted to do uh, plastic surgery so i remember the first thing i did was i saw your video on youtube okay and i remember that uh, yes yeah, so i i i and i remember it was a it was a video which you were giving like last year it was a last year november video in which you said that uh, like you know it's that it is doable you all should target iniss and i like you know I, you should give it a try and you said that uh, even now like before the exam you said either you go either you're in it or you're out of it so you should give it a shot so then that's when i decided so that i primarily prepared only for ini ss i did not uh, prepare for neat so in i i mean i think that's the reason good decision you have taken i'll tell you you have seen that video for a good cause and a good decision <laughs> is taken and you have worked towards that your decision only and uh, that has given a good rank and you are going to join now no there is no neat ss at all actually yes so yes so that uh, i mean that came like recently but luckily sir so but i had not thought of uh, neat ss only so my primary thing was that if i wouldn't have got in this ini i was going to give in november no but yes sir very good doctor now what all you did your preparation to get rank number 2 what all you did mean what all things you would have planned na this i want to do yes, this sir. i want to do and uh, and you would have scheduled and you have executed it perfectly can you tell us the plan what you have So, so after seeing your videos so i first uh, subscribed to the class sir that's the first thing which i did and um, i saw videos of previous toppers and all to get an idea of how to prepare so uh, so the first thing which i did so was uh, like look, based on that you know the recall topics i made a list of whatever topics was important which i felt like uh, through through the videos which was asked in the interviews and all uh, and then so uh, like i started preparing properly from january okay so so i had four months for the exam sir so uh, the first thing which i did is i uh, i went uh, through re- watching all of the videos once okay after watching all of the videos once sir i thought that uh, i would simultaneously start giving the grant so this took me around one month so from from the beginning of january i think by the end of january sir i was done with watching all of the videos and making notes detailed notes of everything so then uh, i started giving grant tests towards the end of jan so a uh, weekly grant is so once a week like every uh, saturday would be the day for grant is and sunday would be to review whatever was wrong in the test so and uh, as i started doing giving grant is so i simultaneously started reading grabens myth which is the oh, so 
the, the I went in retrograde, so like the topics which I felt was like uh, I didn't read it page to page, but then so the important topics like uh, like I did general plastic, then a bit a hand a hand surgery and all of those things. Sir. So I started. I went through that and I also added it whatever extra was to my to my notes. So, and um, I also made a book, sir. Like whichever like whatever test series which I had given, like uh, whatever wrong questions were there. I I I made, noted it down in a separate book. So and that is that is one thing. So I think I like, revised like throughout, like every day, like in the morning I would spend one hour to just read whatever I had done wrong and whatever was the topics based on that. So uh, so that way, sir, I think I I was done with two readings by uh, like uh, two or three readings. I was done by the towards the end, sir. That along with all the grand guests. <laughs> Very nice. And so towards the end, I also saw this. Uh, like initially, I used to give grand tests like once a week. Then I started giving it at around uh, every like uh, two grand tests in a week. And towards the last ten fifteen days, sir, uh, I it was the same test, but I was giving it almost every day. Okay, so revision grand yes, test. Sir. Yes, sir. So I I I gave the test. So the first thing I would do would get up in, would be like I would wake up in the morning. I would first give a grand test. So because that also helped me reduce my anxiety for the exam. So. And then I would give that test every day for fifteen days. Like uh, last fifteen days, I just gave GTs every day, and that actually helped me, sir. So and I'm also like... very thankful to all the faculty, sir, of uh, because I could uh, their voices were echoing when uh, I was, you know, when I read the textbook and also when I was giving the exam. So because uh, the exposure of plastic surgery is very less for general surgery students, so yes. the videos will make a huge lot of difference. Yes, sir. Uh, so to understand what it is first, so reading rabbit spit directly could be very mechanical. Provided yes, you could see to the videos, then you understand what is all about this plastic surgery. What are they doing? Uh, <laughs> what is all about? It is like yes, just a derivative. I mean, just then we we read rabbit spit, then it makes more sense. Yes, sir. So great, amazing job, and uh, well done. And we want to know how many questions did you attend? Uh, so I attempted seventy-three. Oh. 76, sorry. 3, I left 3, sir. 4, I left. Great. Doctor, can you tell us something on the interview part? I mean, what did you do in the interview? So, the uh, interview, like, um, like I, I, I had watched YouTube videos of the toppers, sir. And there was also a speed video which was uh, conducted by uh, Dr. Arush, sir. Okay. So, sorry. I uh, made a list of all the topics which he mentioned. And so, then I just, and he also mentioned the book, sir, for the interview. So um, what I did was each topic I would go back to Grabbins Smith and go a part of the like uh, Michigan Man Muslim, and I would read the topic. And so means I I uh, like rather than reading the entire thing again, I start to do specific topics. So like so I had mentioned like five topics are important. So uh, like uh, like general plastic, the cleft lip, cleft palate, hand surgery. He mentioned some topics. So I and burns. So these are the main things which I focused on. Sir. Fantastic, doctor. Now, we want to know from you what will be your uh, advice to the future aspirants of uh, MCH plastic surgery. The, uh, so, like first of all, so I think uh, everybody should uh, understand that it is doable. It is not, uh, and it is. It's like it's important to be consistent. It's every day, little efforts every day is what you will help you achieve your goal in the end. So the second thing is, uh, like I think that uh, it's important to have a plan because you should be able to, and you should plan in advance. Like you should know, like at the beginning of your preparation only is how much time will you need for revision, how many readings will you plan. So because if you don't know what a plan, what what is the plan, then you will continue extending your reading. And third, so I think uh, general surgery sir, is also very important, sir. Like although it's only twenty questions, sir, but it makes a huge difference. Like I feel, uh, like sir, so I would uh, for general surgery parts. Me and my husband, like, uh, see, he's also secured uh, rank one renal transplant surgery. Well, so we would, uh, sir, so, uh, yes, yeah, so is, this year, this year, sir. Oh wow! Congratulations to him as well. <laughs> yes, so, okay. Uh, so, uh, so like, um, like so there wasn't any class for him, sir. So what we would do is like, he would read his own book, and then in the night, I think two hours every day, we would read general surgery. So we read the Bailey part, and then we would solve questions together, and then that's how. So we <laughs> very, very, very good. I mean, you, you see, there around you. 
least he's outside i think <laughs> so it's a combined studies yes sir so so he wants to be a renal transplant surgeon rather yes, than sir. yeah his interest is in that yes sir like he actually was working in urology sir the sr ship in urology in sakpur undi and that's when uh, like he he decided like he saw a lot of transplants and all. he had interest in both urology and this sir but hmm. he prepared for a lesser time so he thought he'll just he'll try giving renal transplant surgery no sir because he had okay. only he he left his job in march sir so he had only two months to prepare so okay great <laughs> nice to know and now it's time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to do so so um so first of all so i would uh, i'm very thankful to god for giving me this and also my parents especially my mother she has been my constant support she has constantly motivated me even not being from a medical background but she has constantly encouraged me like to do even revisions she would be like have you revised um and so my uh, my sister and also my husband sir because uh, he has been my study partner literally with me through this entire journey um, and so uh, like uh, all of my teachers sir throughout my msd sir uh, and also my uh, the A- at aims nagpur faculty dr sidhi sir and so most important say you and the entire team of speed sir <laughs> dr kartikeyan sir dr rashida ma'am dr balakrishnan sir i mean i I I literally could hear their voices sir, during the exam sir. Yeah, all all we all had a passion to teach actually. They had been yes. all or driving to the system, and they will be very happy to hear from you actually. This video will be definitely given to them. So and especially Doctor Kartikeyan sir, I have uh, like watching his videos, and then after reading, I have also developed an interest in hand surgery sir. Hmm. So, I mean, like liter- like sir is really inspiring sir. He's an icon of that. is such a it's a such a great surgeon he is yes sir so i have not seen sir operate sir i just saw his videos and i was like <laughs> very good doctor so we once again wish you all the very best and all the success on behalf of the entire team of faculty and institute of speed to you that to you and also to your husband and to your sir uh, all the very best and all the success as a great plastic surgeon in you in making and definitely you will do wonders because that was your passion and that passion has become a reality and that reality you're going to live in right now <laughs> so that is something which is uh, quite unique that want, want i like i want to do that and it is there with me something is great and definitely the productivity and outcome will be great and people will be benefited out of it we wish you all the best for that congratulations thank you so much, sir. thank you thank you sir